Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back if you are returning. Today we're going to talk about Neme Dub. His three special abilities is Rapid Pulse Cannon, Augmented Turret, and Proximity Bombs. Um, Neme Dub is probably one of the best characters to use uh, besides Boston, which I've had another video explaining him and his awesomeness. Yeah. <laughs> there you'll hear his uh, special sayings that you get by pushing up, left, or right on the D-pad. Um, every character has a unique saying that you can do. <clears throat> Native Nub is from the Outer Rim uh, expansion, so if you do not have him, you cannot play as him. His counter is Greedo, which there's another video explaining how you play as him. Um, which is Check it out after this video. As you can tell, I'm doing all these different uh, abilities, and I'll explain it slowly um, as we go because this video is a really long video. Uh, we're gonna talk about everything right away, and then later on, uh, you'll see just a bunch of awesome clips that I I, I play as him so much that um, I had so many clips to sh to show, and really good clips as playing as Nina. Um, because, like I said, he's one of the easiest characters to play as, and you can do, you can do really good things if you choose him. If you look at the bottom uh, center of your screen, you're going to see that that yellow bar at the very bottom, that is his health. The bar right above it is the turret's health. So as soon as you hold L1, you'll, you'll see uh, I just deployed the turret. It's got a full bar of health. It will last as long as the health is there. If you... You see, look on your right screen at your abilities, you'll see the whole triangle, that's your turret. Once it refreshes, you're allowed to drop it again at any time, um, even though the turret's still out. See, I just did it. What happens is the other turret uh, blows up, so you do not get multiple turrets in the game. The next ability we'll talk about is the proximity bomb um, at the very right. You'll see this second. R1. <laughs> I only take orders from one person. Me. Yeah. <laughs> Funny conversation between the two different characters there. Uh, I'll get back to the proximity bombs in a second. I want to show you this up on this hill up here. If you're at this map location, it's really good for Neomno if you can get up there really quick and deploy your turret because everybody always comes up across this and you're just going to get a lot of fire shots off with that turret. As far as the proximity bombs, you can throw out, I think, like four, and you know they won't disappear until like after I think I think the fifth one you throw out, it'll start to get rid of the pro the first bomb that you threw. But I'm pretty sure you can pop out about five of those bombs um, at the same time. I mean, one at a time, up to five. One of Neonub's best weapons is his pistol. He has a really, really strong pistol. Um, you just keep firing it and it's like, it does so much damage. Um, the other awesome weapon is L1. It basically like does this scope power shot. You see, you charge it up by holding it and then you let go and it will blast. Um, if you're close to somebody, you do not need to aim with it. It's just going to be a waste of time. Just make sure your crosshair, that little triangle looking thing in the middle of your screen, is on the character and it will hit them every time. Right here, by under the Millennium Falcon here, there's a little area where you can use your scope shot to shoot across and hit someone. You'll see that later on, uh, but I put a turret there every once in a while. I mean, it's kind of pointless that far away, but yeah, the scope shot, if you push L1, that's a really good spot to just knock someone out real quick. Only 
this little spot here is good to kind of bar barricade yourself in. <clears throat> you have a turret facing one way, throw bombs on both sides. That way anybody that keeps coming in is going to blow up. Um, the, the bombs refresh pretty quickly so you can throw out another one. Um, unfortunately here Darth Vader just came crashing through but see I throw a bomb in there. It's still killing people. And then over here on the side I go in to kind of, I'm very low on health, I'm about to die. And Boba Fett's flying around, and here he is, he's still on the stairway. He knows I'm in here, so I kind of just stay low. See, right now the score is two villains are alive and three heroes are alive. If we run out of time with three heroes and they have two heroes, we're going to win the match. So my objective here is just to try to stay alive. And that's what I'm doing. I'm putting turret out there, keep throwing my bombs out there, and just try to stay alive. Hide behind this little uh, set of boxes over here to the left. Uh, a couple more things for advice with me and uh, if He's a really good character to choose if you're in an open environment because he's got that turret. He's got uh, mines that you can throw around, so if any close enemies get near him, he'll blow up. And he's also got that scope shot, which can see pretty far and uh, snipe people, you know, from distance. Um, another thing is if you're running away from other people, um, you, you set your turret down and keep running. That way, if they follow you, the turret's going to be shooting at their back the whole time. And it, it's kind of a good way to defend yourself, as well as throwing mines out and keep doing that. So he can run away and defend himself pretty well. There you see we just won that match because I stayed alive. Um, it was the same score pretty much the whole time. So Here you're going to see me go over to this corner I was telling you about. Um, I set down the turret again. Uh, later on you'll see I, I actually used the scope shot. But just stay with the video. Keep watching. Um, there's really good matches and stuff up ahead at different uh, map locations. Um, so please watch. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe so you can get all the, the cool videos that I do. Um, Battlefront 2 is about to come out. I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna be doing a stream, live stream of the campaign. So I'm pretty much right when it comes out. I'm gonna be doing that. So don't want to miss that. Like my videos, please. Um, it's just gonna help me stay motivated to keep posting videos. Uh, yeah, that's about it. At the end of the video, you're going to see two videos that will pop up. One will be the prior video to this one, and one will be the next video, which will be, uh, let's see, probably Lando. Um, and then in the center, you're going to see my Gamer Rakino logo. Just click that, and that will automatically get you to subscribe to my channel. Thank you, everybody, for watching, and may the Force be with you. Which one? Which one?
Right here. I only take orders when I warn you not to overtake my powers. <laughs> Sorry about the mess. <laughs>
Yeah. <laughs> 